Better way to start off a Carlisle video than with a wagon. <laughs> this thing's insane. Holy shit. It's so massive. I like the demon carburetors on it. And it's a four speed. Oh, wow. This thing's very intimidating. I want to hear it run though. Probably scare the shit out of the neighborhood. I had to pay an extra fee because I. They remade the pace car. I didn't even see that earlier. It's an imitation of a '69 pace car. It's better than the six gens, I think. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of either. They're just so fucking bulky. So this is basically a Camaro and Trans Am F body building, if you will. I hope you know this is going to take some time. I gotta make up for the um, import show. I had some people that were kind of upset. The interior is pretty crazy. Dude, the fucking quality is coming out so much better already. First Camaro ever built in 1967, full documentation. It's got an inline six cylinder. Hubcaps and white walls and a six cylinder. Yeah, it does. Still got plastic on the seats. This thing's fresh out the box. I like how it's got black wheels, but it's got the like aluminum trim rings to break it up. Thanks.
cool. I like that. <laughs> This one's got a Pontiac 400 in it. It says TA 6.6. .6. If it said 6.6 .6 liter, it'd be an Olds 403. The interior color's ugly though, and it's got crank windows, but it's cool for what it is. Got a GTA. Seventy three RD. Does that mean like uh, rear wheel drive? Shut up. <laughs> it's decently clean under there. Yeah? Decently. I think the headrests are fucking weird looking though. Yeah. This is the one I want to get on camera. I've never gotten to see one of these in person. A Hearst conversion Trans Am made out of a Camaro. Oh man, that thing is fucking mean. I don't really care for the hood going forward like that though. They pull their intakes fucking crazy. Oh, is that? Oh, that's pull their induction. Some great A shit. Got some big ass snowflakes on it. Got some advertisement right here. More to this one. You got the door panels inside. Do a nice interior shot. Got that nasty wing on the back. I think it's beautiful looking. T-top car. This is something you'll never, ever, ever see on the streets, ever in a neighborhood near you. By the way, this is one of the Bandit editions. Officially, it's signed by Burt Reynolds. This is one of those specialty cars that you don't fucking see anywhere ever. Oh man, I want one. I want a white one though. I don't know where that is though. On the dashboard, on the passenger side, right above the fence. There's the signature right there on the passenger side of the dashboard. Round two of F bodies. Got what looks to be an 80, yeah, 80 turbo Trans Am right here with the wraparound louvers. I do like the black interior. It's got power windows. Nice little T-top car. I love the Turbo Eagles. Everybody likes the shaker hoods with the smaller Eagles, but not me. It's just a work of art. It's got the turbine wheels. Pretty clean under the hood. It's got the old flip the air filter lid trick, so you can hear the carburetor. Then we've got a black bandit Trans Am over here with a nasty color interior. I think this one's got crank windows. Nope, power windows in this one. Not too fond of them door panels though. And then my favorite one over here, the 80 pace car. 
This one is the most beautiful one at the whole show, and in fact, my favorite car here at the whole show. Oh my god. So sexy. Oh. With the sexiest bird alive. I can't get enough of this car. It's the most beautiful car ever produced. Hey, I got that model. We got some other Trans Ams over here. Yeah, mushy, boring. Got one with an 81 Eagle on it. Is it an 81 Trans Am? You can see the difference on the 81 because it's not filled in. You can see like the paint through the Eagle. The 81. It's got the 81 bird on it. You see how my dad's is all shaded in and the 81s are like see-through, which I don't, they're all right, but. The white bandit. That's a nice touch. I think that's a very nice touch. It's actually kind of fun. There goes a 67 Impala, or 68. I'll tell you in a second. Oh, that's a 68 Impala. I'm surprised there's not so many Chevelles here. Usually this place is overcrowded with them. We got a 71 right here. Or no, I'm wrong, this is a 72. I see a metric fuck ton of Corvettes. Dude, that is just fucking huge. Hmm? It's just huge. There's yeah. too much chrome, though. I don't know. I like it, though. Yeah. It's automatic. Oh, I didn't even catch this. Probably. See, I love this stance. I like the wheels on this. I didn't know they made deep dish out of these. These are like custom wheels in the back. They're factory Magnum type wheels, but they're deep. It's like, I've seen people do this before. What they do is they cut the wheel directly in half, add a space in between and weld it back together and get them balanced. That looks clean though. Hell yeah, it does. It's got a passenger door mirror, that's not common. And it's got air conditioning. It's got the AC lines and shit right there. Aftermarket air compressor. That's cool for the mammoth of the engine that's in there, it's still got power brakes. That's cool. I'm not gonna flip through it though. So as you can see, we're in the Chevy section right now. A 58 Impala, 57 Chevy, 57. Some kind of Malibu. Where's your white 63 Impala you like so much? Down there. You can see it's the one flamed on the fucking balls. Straight ahead. 71. See, I don't really like them, that teal thing. They're just boxy. What the fuck is that thing? That's a cruise? No. Those headlights are nice. Look at old police car. Oh, wow. That's fine, but Look, a bunch of B bodies in one place. Oh, it's a 90. It's got the seat belts on the door. Dude, look, this is what used to be on the wagon. It was atrocious. Those had to go. 
Yep, that's how my car came. Only 1990 and 90 only. Oh, there's a fucking nightstick in there. All right, now we got a 63 Impala. Sitting on some keystones. What looks like an original 327. Is that a two barrel? What? No. I can't tell, honestly. I feel stupid for once in my life. Blows, you can smell that old car smell rolling out of this thing, and it smells awesome. That's what a 63 Impala looks like from behind. Goes, eh, 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 eh. There goes that 58. There's another 63. Low rider. It's got a lot of money invested in this one. Sound system. Hey, you're a car salesman. Come over here and demonstrate. What the fuck is all this? Uh, it's a bagged. It's the air management AccuAir. Very good company. Vier compressors. I don't know what size tank. Can't see it. Uh, full audio bond system. It's like an older brand, but I think that's what he was going for. Just that obnoxious chrome flames and shit. Classic low rider. Yeah. If it's the car, it does well. Let's get an interior shot. I love the dual antennas on this thing. I love the fucking, I don't know, just the red and the white. These fucking wheels. They're power antennas too. Oh shit. Oh yes, very beautiful. I love the white headliner. Yeah. No AC in this car. Nope. Oh shit, look at the gas pedal. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Do a walk around and I get to this nice 62 Bel Air bubble top. Oh, look at the 64 up on its side. But yes, this is my favorite one, the 62 bubble top Bel Air. I want one of these. I love the front ends on these. Here's a good breakdown. Here's a good example of a breakdown. So over here in the center, we have a 62. That's a 62 front end, 63, 64. Let's take a peek inside, shall we? Look at that gap of door. That is awesome. And this is what separates the Impalas from the Bel Airs. Impalas have this massive B pillar. Bel Air's got the nice bubble top. And then for those who don't know, the Impalas have three taillights, and the Bel Airs have two taillights. And what the hell did they do to this 64? We got six batteries powering this thing up back here. Three and three. It's got some slight cancer on it, but it's not bad for a 50 year old car. 60 year old car. Look at the trailing arm, how that thing splits. Wow. These things have an X frame in them. It's got glass packs. Getting in line, pulling out of here. 
It's the Cheech and Chong mobile over here. We got a 66 Impala right here. Sixty fives look exactly the same, but they still have circular taillights. We got a Hurst Olds. Oh, one second. Leave the hood open. Just one more second. Sure. Appreciate it. Four fifty five. Yes. Beautiful. How you doing? All right. This is yours. Yes. Very beautiful. What production number is it? Uh, shoot. It's like 356, I think. I can't remember right now that you asked me. Have it recorded at home. Right on, that's awesome. Yeah, always. How long you had it? Nice. It's my dad's dream car right here. I got one question though. How come the parking lights are so up so high on the fender? The way they punch the fenders. It's crazy, I've never seen them like that before. Anyways, I love your car. Just want to let you know. I found, I found like uh, my, I've got an 84 Hurst Olds and the, the stripes are different. Where they placed them over the black on the bottom. Got some Grand Nationals over here. Oh wow. Big ass. A lot of cars have left since we were here the first time. Alright, I guess I'll show the Oldsmobile some respect. Okay. Even though I don't really care for these. 72s, they got dorky looking front ends on them. This one looks like to be a small block. It's gold, should be a 350, unless it's bronze and it'll be a 400. And it has number seven heads on it. Oh no, it's 7A heads. I know you can't see that, but it says 7A. Not the 307 7A, but the 72 350 7A. That's cool. 72 Olds 350. Nice little uh, bucket seat car. Vinyl top. I like the vinyl tops on these. Now this is something I don't like. I like the color on this car. But why on God's green earth and blue skies, as my friend likes to say, would they ever put post on these cars? I can't stand post cars. Look at that. It goes all the way from the roof there to there. You put the windows down, that shit stays there. Well, GM wasted time and money stamping out two different bodies. Oh, I guess another Grand National. What the hell is this thing? Oh no, it's got a quad four in it. These are like disaster engines. A W41. Cute Oldsmobile, that's real cute. Trying to keep a name alive. A quad 442. I guess there's a reason I never heard of one of these before. It's a stick shift, I'll give it that. I mean, it's today's day and age, I guess it's cool for what it is. No. Ish. Negative. I was trying to be somewhat positive, all right. Don't be nice. Get that name off of there. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. 
Oh, oh here we go. The Australian GTO wants to make some noise. No, that's just a regular GTO. Them's is Pontiacs. Yeah, I know. The same shit. It's a, it's a Holden body design. Yeah. We have an 84 Cutlass. Hurst Olds. With the lightning rod shifters. You gotta watch a video sometime of how those work. You'll be like, what the fuck? Yo, they have so much of the factory shit for that, like that thing there. It says, do not move these levers until reading the manual, fucking blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got all the, like, old shit from the factory back here. Really, does it? Yeah. But it's a throw. It's, it's cool for a 307. Whoever watched my 307 video, this is a 5A engine, so it's the better. 307. Oh, wow. Yeah. A lot of original shit back here. How you doing, man? Not bad. It's very beautiful. Thank you. There's no value like Old's value, I agree. <laughs> yeah, that was a sticker in the wind all when they, well, hit right on it. The factory spare is like brand new. Holy shit. Yeah, whoever had performing took care of it. Thank you for that. I can see why you won so many awards. It's even got the tag in between the lightning rods. Yeah. Read the manual before using. Yeah. I like these bucket seats. They're very pretty. So much prettier bucket seats than something like a Monte Carlo could ever think of. Some of that nice bucket seats. Ah, they're the same ones they run in the Camaros. True. Uh, these ones are look prestige. Must have bought a lot of them. Are you right. I will give it though, they are very comfortable, I'll say that much. But these look very comfortable as well. Hey, good luck with your car. Oh, look at that bee body. That's a boat. Oh no. I didn't know Oldsmobile made a, uh, what the hell's the name of that Pontiac van? Montana? It's something like that. I think it's Pontiac Montana, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Why would you bring this here? Silhouette. Oh. I bet this thing earned a terrific crash rating. Theoretically, that's 30,000 miles. Theoretically, that's all it will go. This thing's clean, man. What? Oh. Silhouette. So check it out. This is like the Oldsmobile version of our wagon if it was a car. Yeah, you know how like that park has. Yeah, you that know we how gutted. we got like round rally gauges and shit. Mm -hmm. Look how oogie foggy it is in there. Oh, it's got the lights on the fenders though. Those light up when your uh, high beams are on, they turn blue. They turn blue when your high beams are on, and they also tell you when your turn signals are on. Did you want to take yours off that right now? Yeah. I haven't gotten around to it yet. That back seat is massive. All right. Still cool. What's this guy bitching about? Huh? What's that guy bitching about? No, no, that's the guy with the Hearst. What's that? Oh. Where's that? Looks so comfortable inside though. Okay, so this thing's actually pretty fucking. So I'm not gonna bore everybody and go this way all the way down the aisles, because as you can see it's just a sea of fucking Camaros that you can fucking see on every city block street every hour of the day. Although, fucking everywhere. front end's funky on this one. No, where's that other one? I like the wheel setup on this one. Big tire, small rim. 
Where's that other one that had that crazy front end? All right, fuck it, I lied. Maybe I will bore everybody and take a stroll down this place. I don't think it's gone. Either that or it was over here. Because remember I commented about that blue one looking like a Jeep? Yeah. Here, I'll be with you in a second. A good comparison. Firebird versus Camaro right here. That blue one's an 86, by the way. 86 is the only year they put that third brake light on top of the hatch glass like that. They found out real quickly that it leads to water leaks and the bulbs short out, so 87 and up. They're either under the glass or they're in the spoiler. Got a nice convertible Z28 over here. Oh, this one's got leather. Turbo. Yeah, it's just an intercooled setup. Jesus. Yeah, this is fucking insane. This is real fucking crazy. Talk about a fucking turbo on an LS. Big single turbo. I bet you this motherfucker hauls ass. Oh, look at my Camaro. Oh, look at your Camaro. No way, dude. What year is yours? Oh, this one sounds good, though. Golf cart. Hey, look. It's a Jeff Spicoli car. It's like... Relax, guy. My old man's a television repairman. He can fix it. It's just a sea of Camaros out here. Fucking everywhere. I see a bunch of rednecks that never upgraded to a Trans Am. Oh, I like your Transformer decal. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> I bet that's really obnoxious to look in your rear view. Oh. Rear view I want I like that one out there. Is that the one you're talking about with the snowflakes? That black one? Yeah. I want to go look at that one. I kind of like how that one's done. It's just a fucking bashed up old beat down Camaro. But it's, it's some redneck that wanted a Trans Am but couldn't afford it. Yeah, it's some Joe Dirt piece of shit that I would drive around every day and keep my other cars out of the rain. But I don't know. I have a love for these kind of Camaros. I like the kind of like little blast pipe setup on it. I like those. It's got Firebird wheels on it. That's why there's snowflakes. Yeah. Oh, God. It used to have one of those fucking things around the door locks. So you don't scratch your door, but it seems like that served its purpose, huh? Oh, no, I wouldn't drive this one. Well, not this one. Oh, yeah, it outweighs it. It's a five-speed. I was going to say, it's got crank windows, so scratch that, but it's a stick shift. I'd take it. <laughs> fucking case of Miller Lite in the back seat. Is there? Yeah. Oh, this thing is such a fucking stereotype. I bet this thing belongs to a trailer park. I'll bet you a hundred bucks right now. Notice the case of uh, Miller Lite in the back seat. It's so trashy, but I fucking love it. All right, let's proceed. Z28. I want those Berettas. I want I'm gonna get a license plate for my Trans Am and it's gonna say, I eat Z28. That'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I don't like those high rise spoilers they put on in the 90s. Ooh. Let's see, here's the difference between a 69, like 69, 69, 69. I like these 68s, they got nice wheel wells. You can stick some slicks under there, because they're not so like, they're not so like, meh. I mean, I like them both. But I really like the arches on this one. Nice little four-speed car. Oh, something about the sight of a big block Chevy at first always just throws me off. Whoa, it's so big. Oh, hell yeah. So mine would look like. There's the same thing as that 85 we looked at, just older. It's awesome. 16 year old owner, project car, 350 small block, turbo 350, and Edelbrock carburetor. Take picture for next year. 
Oh, well, we will. Let everybody know that there's a 16-year-old kid that just bought this thing and is working on it. They say take a picture of this shit this year so we can compare it to what it looks like next year. That's awesome. Got some Sony Explode uh, four-way 6x9s. It's a decent choice. Sony Explode, I'm a fan. Is that what they do? Huh? Is that what they do? I mean, they just subs, explode? Yeah. yeah, they fucking exploded. Look at the wheel wells on that 68. Huh. It needs more meat in the back. Actually, it needs to be a little lower in the back with more meat. Show some Vegas some love, even though I don't know, I have mixed feelings about those cars. Cosworth. Cosworth. Cosworth is the shit. Hey, look, Gabriel. They put the Vegas over here where your Mazda Miatas were last month. I want some fucking Miatas. Look, the see? That's a 69 pace car. That's the car they're imitating in the fucking building with that fifth gen. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I would live with that orange interior, dude. Like, if you're tripping on acid or some shit, that would really fuck with That's you. That's fucking obnoxious. Holy shit. I would have done the interior white. But I feel like it would feel like, like a... Like a 70s couch. Oh god, the Chevy Nova or Chevy 2, whatever it is, looks like a Datsun 510. <laughs> I smell old Chevy car Joe. interior. Every time we walk in between cars, I smell the interior and I, it's like awesome. They should make an old car air freshener. That really does look like a 510. Especially with the roll bars in the back. Oh yeah, who out here thinks this thing looks like a Datsun 510? I mean, it still looks good. It looks like a bigger 510. Yeah, but it it's does cool. look good. But it's it looks, cool. I mean, it looks really lightweight too. Yeah. You got some That's fun the thing with about it. 510s. It's like you're driving a piece of fucking paper. Nice little 68 Camaro. A uh, 68 Camaro with a six cylinder. It's pretty cool looking though. Another pace car with some pumpkin interior. Ooh, it's a convertible. They're all convertibles. That one over there was a convertible. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Was it? Yeah, dude. I don't know. Let's go back. All right, this guy's in disbelief. We have to go confirm it's a convertible. I don't know. It's Dead giveaway is that the, the A pillars are all chrome on convertibles. Or the A pillar is completely chrome. God damn it. It's not a convertible. It's a convertible. They're all convertibles. It's not that I was doubting it. I just. <laughs> they, from afar, it didn't look like a convertible. They do it so right that it looks like a hard top when the top's up. Yeah. If that's done like right. there, I was looking at it and I was like, that does not look like a vert. I'll give you that. Right. Let's go check out some of these third gens in between right here. This is what happens when your younger brother imitates the older brother. Oh, I'm in mud. Uh, sir, your hood's behind you, Oh, wow, the tires stick out like mine did. Oh, uh, mine stuck out further than that. Oh look, here we have another eight, two 86s. 86. Oh, wow. 86. Let's see who has a cracked dash pad and who doesn't. Okay, this one's got a touch screen in it. Roll bar, some racing seats. Jesus. That's a big fucking car. This one's a work in progress, but it looks like fun to drive. Okay, well, we come up front. Cindy. 86. Mine was an 86. This one's nasty. Alright, Gabe, do me a favor. Look at the dashboards in these cars and look at the dashboard in this teal one over here. This is the old dash. That's the this new. This one doesn't have a dash. Alright, compare it to that one on the, over here. A comparable dash. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to edit this out of the video, even though I'm too lazy to, so you're gonna be watching this shit anyways. Just know. We were trying to compare, it didn't work. We were trying to compare dashboards with early third gens versus late third gens. And it's just these single yeah. unit gauge clusters. Yeah, are just bleh. Oh yeah, you want that hood tech? Yes, I like a hood tech. Yeah. It's not tech though, but I like oh, I, I like his uh I like their idea what they're going for here. Don't give no fucks. 
Yeah, exactly. Check this one out. There are some guys who are messing with some stuff. Okay, right. Some some really trick stuff. Where basically they have another vert. Aren't these just snowflakes painted in black? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up for the Camaro section because it's only been uh, 25 hours. Nitrous injected. Oh wow! That's what it says. Nitrous injected. Look at the LEDs. It's trippy looking. It's a Power Wheels. That was a go kart. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, round of applause for Ellen. That was kind of fun. I wish the Beretta would move. Yeah, I don't think he's going. All right, there. bye, Ellen. That was fun. Save the more red jump. I know. <laughs> that was I mean, there's a Cavalier. Oh my god, this is the this is that Cavalier that I was bitching about whenever we left with the Audi badge. Really? Yep. He just said there are some badge issues. Oh. The fucking Audi badge on the front. Cavalier coming in. Oh, Cut. <laughs> uh, so this is a Jacob, and Jacob tells me. So I asked him first of all, so what's with the Audi badge in the front? And his response, oh, that's so there's a car seat in the back too. Awesome. His response is what? Can't afford what's on it. All right, so you made it. Then I said, okay, put your window down. I'm going to interview you, and your response was, the windows do not work, and something about the battery being almost dead. I don't know, if the car's going to break, I'd rather you do it in the burnout pit, so, go up there. <laughs> Have fun. He's got a nice break on child seat in the back. He's the proud parents of someone. There we go, a front wheel drive burnout. Number Again. two. No, they did a Civic class. All right, we're going to back him up. Did they? Well, yeah, but that's expected. Some distance. Just hit the fucking... And we're going to have some fun. The sunroof, however, appears to work perfectly fine. <laughs> and the passenger window goes down. Or it's broken down and it won't go up. Officially, it's a 2000 Cavalier. <laughs> they do? Chain the car to the ground? They chain it to the wall. Do they? Yeah. So it can't. Get those front tires wet.
Oh, it is frying. I, I can't see. <laughs> it's like a tornado. <laughs> so that Audi Cavalier is doing a damn good job. Yeah. Can we see again? Yes, we can. What car is coming up next? I don't know. I don't see them. They may be hiding around the corner. So as we get this cleaned up, who thinks Jacob is our new king of the hill? Surprised you still got a tire left to him. <laughs> Yes, get the Beretta out of here. Yeah, open the door, let it air out. <laughs> Off like a champ, though. Yeah. Jacob, enjoy the, uh, the winning spot for a minute, probably. All right, so, like, what your Camaro you think that is? You've got one of them. We'll see, though. I mean, it's definitely it's between 97 and 01. See what George Briggs is saying. So it's between 97 and 01.
much fun doing being at work. Could have gotten ugly really quick. Hobble, 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 hobble. Get out. It's a Sabaru. Oh, the dragster. That's a Subaru? No, it's a Sabaru. It's a Sab. Oh, the Sabaru. It's be a Subaru. <laughs> oh, yeah. that truck. wagon would have been. What? I think that is equivalent to what my car would have been. Is that beat ass old wagon? That's an SUV. I know, but you get the idea. Did you hear me yell to your dad? Jeff's going for Miss Carlisle! Yeah, Jeff! Yeah. Wake up, Jeff! Woo! You got my vote! <laughs> See him in the speedo. That's okay. Hey, Jordan. You got the time. Run it, check it out. <laughs> What's up? See if Tyler can do better than Jordan. He can't.
Oh, it's coming back this way. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Smoke pouring out of the car. And a round of applause to Tyler for putting his ride in there for Tyler. I mean, somehow, but the rednecks. Once Tyler gets out of here, Tyler is the last car. We thank everybody for being part of the Burnout Contest and the Chevrolet Nation. I want that thing to win just because it's a fucking family Christmas shit. I feel like I can see more of this Valley Club. Visit the Midway. Download that Watercrush app if you haven't done so already. Check it out. It's a great story. And uh, big round of applause. Thanks, everybody. We're all going to make this. I guess that's it. Thank you very much. Well, that's all. Look at all these fucking people.